how does this two by three matrix times this three by two matrix result in a two by two matrix? That has to do with how we actually multiply within matrix multiplication. What we do is we take rows from our first matrix and multiply it by columns of our second matrix. And I'll show you how we do that. Say we wanted to find the value that's in row one, column one of our result. Take the first row in matrix A and we'd multiply it by the first column in matrix B. And the way we then multiply this row by the column is we match up the first values and multiply them together and then add the second values multiplied together and then we add the third values and multiply together. This row times this column is going to equal 2 times negative 4 plus 5 times 1 plus 1 times 5, which is equal to negative 8 plus 5 plus 5, which equals 2. The value that goes in the first row and first column of our result is going to be 2. Let's move to the next position, the position that's in row 1, column 2 of our result. And to find this value, we're going to then multiply row 1 from matrix A times column 2 from matrix B. So we have row 251 times column 20, negative 3. We then just multiply. We get 2 times 2 plus 5 times 0 plus 1 times negative 3, which equals 4 plus 0 minus 3, which equals 1. 1 is going to go in position 1, 2 of our result. Let's find the value that's going to be in the second row first column of our result. This time, we're going to use row 2 from matrix A. And we determine this by the row number in the result that we're finding will be the row that we use in matrix A. So since we're in the second row in our result, we're going to use the second row in matrix A to find this product. This is also the same logic for columns. The column I have in my result is the column that I use within matrix B here. We're going to multiply row negative 172 by column negative 415. This gives us negative 1 times negative 4 plus 7 times 1 plus 2 times 5, which equals 4 plus 7 plus 10, which equals 21. So 21 is going to go in row 2, column 1 of our result. To find the last value of our matrix, which is in row 2, column 2, we're going to use row 2 from matrix A times column 2 from matrix B. That is, we're going to multiply negative 172 by 2, 0, negative 3, which gives us negative 1 times 2 plus 7 times 0 plus 2 times negative 3, which equals negative 2 plus 0 minus 6, which equals negative 8. And so negative 8 goes in position 2, 2 of our result.